Hello my soccer universe and welcome to the Europa League final preview. Slightly different than I've done it for the past two seasons because I had some data loss and so yeah. Uh, it's a little bit more compact than what I used to do but maybe this is the way to go forward anyway. I decided to wear Manchester United because I have only one other United jersey and only a single Villarreal jersey, so like that. And how do you like my overall European final background? We have behind me all four European finalists and I decided here on the side I'll add the two semi-finalists from the Champions League and from the Europa League as well. Rounding it out, make it a little bit more balanced because as, as I said before, I find it really curious that the uh, two finalists very perfectly uh, kind of represent the uh, Europa League branding, whereas the two finalists in the Champions League very well re represent the uh, Champions League branding uh, with more bluish in, in, in there versus the matter, uh, orange, um, red and yellow tone. But enough of that, uh, we want to see what I can tell you about today's or tonight's finals. Uh, it will be played in Gdansk, uh, in the Stadion Mieski. Um, we already saw the stadium in Euro 2012. Uh, really beautiful sta stadium that doesn't have a big tenant, unfortunately, but uh, definitely one of those sta stadiums that uh, stood out from that uh, particular Euros. Um, also, Gdansk is... Uh, from what, what I can tell, a really interesting uh, historic city. Yes, it has, after war, largely rebuilt, but definitely something to look forward to. There will be some spectators in there. I hear 19,000, which is actually quite uh, big, or 18,000. So we, we is a, a, actually already quite a big crowd, and it points forward that we might be able to enter normality soon. Uh, the referee for the game will be Clément Turpin, a French referee, I think well known uh, throughout Europe. So uh, I think it's a, for now it's a good, good, a good appointment. He, he doesn't uh, stick out to me, I mean, as one of, uh, one of those WECO referees, a typically uh, well-balanced referee overall, I would say. Uh, before we go a little bit more into the final, let's look at the path to the final. We have Villarreal, who actually started this comp competition already in the Europa League. Uh, they had no trouble in the group stage, uh, only drawing once. Uh, and curiously, the last game against uh, Karabakh at home was not played, so it was awarded to them with 3-0. Uh, I think in my records I kept it as non-play, non but in the end it was awarded. So, uh, because it had no bearing any anyway on the outcome of the group stage. Uh, they beat Sivaspor at home 5-3, which is definitely the outlier in many uh, ways, but this was also their first game of... Um, of uh, the campaign 1-0 uh, away from home, then Karabagh is at 3-1 away from home, Maccabi Tel Aviv 4-0 at home, 1-1 away. Um, basically one of only two draws, they have a really impeccable record, uh, winning pretty much everything, especially in Nor 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 uh winning twice against Salzburg was impressive, 2-0 and 2-1, though I think they found themselves 1-0 down at home. Uh, then Dynamo Kiev twice 2 0. Dynamo Zagreb, very, very uh, routine performance 1 0 and 2 1. And then Arsenal, where they had a 2 0 uh, lead in the first le uh, leg at half time, conceded then, but also played it routinely home and it ended 0 0. And one curious thing about Villarreal is that they scored definitely most of their goal is in the first half which is completely opposite from Manchester United. Manchester United started, of course, in the Champions League and were eliminated there, although having overall a good re record, well, uh, what undid them was a loss to Bajak here away from home. Uh, one, one of those really mind-boggling losses uh, out there. So they uh, beat PSG 2-1 uh, away, but lost at home 1-3. Leipzig rolled over them 5-0 away from home. They lose. They like. Uh, they lose that one. Uh, I think they were three 0 down, and then uh, couldn't uh, get the comeback done. And then I think the away uh, loss to Bajakshi here was a really bad one. Uh, coming into the Euro Europa League, um, I would say almost equally impressive, um, although not having as great of a record, but. Dismantling a Real Sociedad side that is actually a uh, true joy to watch and was uh, the fifth best team in Spain uh, is kind of a little bit foreboding with Villarreal only finishing in seventh. So 4-0 uh, and it was not even that close. 
uh, they completely dom dominated away from home than at home. Yes, uh, it could have been gone, but this was a game where uh, they definitely didn't play uh, full strength. It, against Milan, they had a lot more problems. Um, I think Milan should have, would have, would have, I mean, the 1-1 one, one in the end came with the last minute, minute goal, but Milan was largely the better game uh, at, or the better team at Old Trafford, uh, and had a ridiculous goal disallowed, uh, which I still don't get why um, that was. But then uh, at San Siro, uh, yes, Milan also had chances, but I think then United overall was the more mature team and they get the winning goal through uh, Pogba and, you know, uh, Milan at home. Da, da, da. Against Granada, absolutely no problem for United. That was cruising. Against Roma, they were 2-1 down uh, at the half uh, at home and then with a Roaring comeback. Yes, Roma couldn't have, have make any changes anymore because they had many injuries. But still, uh, putting fast five past Roma and actually settling the tie after the first leg was uh, a feat. Then they uh, lose 3-2 away. Um, however, I think they had a 1-0 lead and they made it 2-2. So it never got to the point where it's actually tight. So overall, United also rather, rather impressive uh, and scoring the goals late. Uh, which is a little bit the difference to Villarreal. One is scoring early, the other one is, is uh, mounting comebacks late. So that is something definitely to look out uh, to. Uh, going back to the final itself, um, I think that uh, one of the char char characteristics of this final will be that uh, Villarreal is a team that can actually slow down a game like they did against Ar Arsenal, which is a way of keeping them in the game. Whereas United is definitely a team that uh, needs it fast, uh, a fast pace and uh, being able to hit uh, the opponents on a counter-attack. So this, I think, will be the key battle in the game. Um, Villarreal, I don't know if how they will play it, uh, they will want to slow, slow down if they're going to hit, then uh, trying to hit early as they uh, want to do. Or if they say, nah, let's really keep it tight, keep it slow, uh, so United is not in the intention set, which would lead to a nil-nil draw. Which would actually be the result that these two teams always manage to do. In the four times they met, it was four nil-nils. It was in the 2005-06 Champions League, uh, where Villarreal actually made it to the semifinals. And then also in the 08-09 um, uh, Champ 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 Champions League, where United actually were the defending champs and made it all the way to the final, where they lost them to a Barcelona side. So uh, that is, I think, already quite interesting. Um, how I could see a nil-nil. However, Europa League finals, as, as of late, have been really, really, really... Um, uh, goal field. I think they have an average of four goals in the last couple of finals. Um, so that's definitely something to look out for. Um, I would rather think low scoring, but you know, I've been wrong before on that. I actually thought that last year's final will be lo low scoring as well. Uh, Spanish teams have a pretty good record against English teams, especially in the Europa League, but that was when uh, La Liga kind of in the last uh, decade was actually the better league. Now I think the tables are turning towards the Premier League. Um, again, um, as for injuries, uh, we already know that for Villarreal, Ibora will not play and for uh, United, Phil Jones um, and my, uh, Martial will not, will, will not play. And then we have uh, two questionable um, players with Chukwese, which I think would be a big uh, loss for Villarreal and Foyt. Uh, not, not so much, and also Harry Maguire will be a, a big loss for United uh, for defensive stability. So uh, rather uh, curious how, uh, if any one of these will make a surprise comeback. As for the jersey matchup, I couldn't find any reliable information so far, but I would expect uh, VRL playing, since they are the designated home team, playing in yellow, and I really hope that United will play in, also in their traditional look with red shirts. Um, white shorts and black socks, I think it would work just fine. I really hope they're not pulling out uh, their ugly away jersey, uh, the, you know, the, the mud jersey. 
so look, uh, I really would like to have uh, that not ha ha happening. And I think since there's uh, changing sponsors, I find it unlikely that they will play in a new uh, kit uh, one for the next season. But, um, you know, stranger things have happened. But I think they will play both with their current jerseys. Um, and who is going to win it? Well, my model gives United a 61% chance of winning it, which is in line with most of the odds uh, that, that, that I see out there as well. So United definitely the fav fav favorites. They are the more talented team. I think uh, where I think VRL has an edge is in the coach. Yes, Una Emery has not done well uh, at the really big teams in France and in England. Uh, but on the other side, I really think he is he has the petty pedigree, especially in Spain for Sevilla. Um, and also Valencia that I think in, at Villarreal he has done a pretty good job. It's a disappointment that they only finished seventh. United, of course, finished second in the Premier League. But I can see that tac tactically he could have a trick or two up his sleeve. Having said that, again, United is definitely the more talented squad. So, yeah, it will be interesting where this will uh, be going. I would lean, I say, uh, United will uh, win this 2 0. And I think Cavani will score one. Let's see. Any case, let, let me know how you think the final will, will be going. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more. And I will talk to you soon. Bye. If you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and hit the little bell icon to get updated whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day. Bye.